Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-20 from R.C. Hippaler Engineering Statics 15th edition. According to this problem, the 10 kg lamp has a center of mass at G. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at A and the force in the cable BC. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram. So at point G, I have the weight of the lamp, which is acting in a vertically downward direction. I have a force due to the cable BC. The point A is spin supported, so I have two support reactions. One horizontal support reaction and one vertical support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is the weight, which is 10 into 9.81. So 98.1 newtons. This is the weight of the lamp. This is the force FPC. And this is AY. And this is AX. Now I have to resolve the FPC force into its components. So I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. Let's label them. Let's call this angle as theta. So we have this right here would be FBC sine theta and the horizontal component would be FBC cos theta. To find the value of theta, we can consider this triangle, which has, let me draw it. which has a height of 0.3 meters and it has a base of 0.15 meters and this right here is the angle theta. So 10 theta equals to 0.3 divided by 0.15. So theta is equals to 63.43 degrees. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to zero I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. So AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. So they don't have any moment arm with respect to the point A. This FBC cos theta force is trying to rotate the lamp in counterclockwise direction. So the moment produced by this FBC cos theta force, cos and the theta is 63.43 degrees. So the moment produced by this FBC cos 63.43 degrees will be taken as positive because it is trying to rotate the lamp in counterclockwise direction about point A. And the moment arm is this 0.4 meters distance. This FBC sine theta force is also trying to rotate the lamp in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this FBC sine theta force will be taken as positive. and theta is 63.43 degrees and the moment arm is 0.15 meters distant. Also, we have a weight which is trying to rotate the lamp in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this weight force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this complete distance which is 0.15 plus 0.5 meters. Equals to zero. So when we simplify it, we have 0.179 FBC plus 0.134 FBC minus 63.765 equals to zero. Upon further simplification, FBC comes out to be 203.7 Newton. So this is our first answer. And now for the AX and AY force, we can do summation of forces in X direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have 
Ax minus the horizontal component of the Fpc force, which is Fpc cos theta equals to zero. So Ax minus Fpc, which is 203.7 newtons into cos theta, so cos 63.43 degrees equals to zero. So from here, Ax comes out to be 91.1 newton. So this is our second answer. And now for the Ay force, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have negative Ay plus Fbc sine theta minus the weight force, which is 98.1 newtons equals to zero. So upon substituting the values, we have negative Ay plus Fbc, which is 203.7 newtons into sine 63.43 degrees minus 98.1 equals to zero. So from here, Ay comes out to be 84.1 newton. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.